All right, guys, we're back in Samui from our Bangkok run. That was good seeing the boys again. And uh, when I was taking the plane now, you know, you're taking planes, you're sitting in an aluminum box, basically going God knows how fast. And it was this woman, every time there was a little bit of a disturbance, like turbulence, you know, this is regular on a, this is normal on a flight. You get a little bit of a dip, you feel the, you know, you get the butterflies in the stomach or whatever it's called, you know, when it goes like, woof. And every time something like that happens, every single time, for every little thing, she was like, huh, huh grabbing her armrest in a panic and i was there thinking like let's let's say this turbulence is us going down and we're going to end up in a big fireball you panicking and grabbing your armrest is not going to do anything so why even bother why even bother it's like we're screaming at stuff as well we had this uh, i remember we had back in special forces there was this guy we had a, we did like a, a um, like a patrol thing, shoot, shoot and move, shoot and move. When you're on, when you're pretty tight on the line. And because of the terrain, I, I slipped, right? And I slipped into the line, but I didn't slip into anything dangerous. My rifle was in the right, right direction, everything. But for some reason, this guy just started to go, he went like, huh? So like some, some dumb scream and everyone heard it. And was like, holy shit, that something happened. And that's the key. Because when you scream and do all this bad stuff, it affects other people. So you need to be, be like a stoic shield around others. Because he didn't, nothing happened, nothing has, had ever changed when I slipped down that little slope. Nothing changed. The fight was still going. No, there was no safety issues at all. So it was a total unnecessary thing. Uh, and you know, when you react like that too, you start to create crisis in your head because afterwards there was this big commotion. Me and him ended up in a big argument. I was like, bro, I'm not going to apologize for this. But, you know, he wanted to have an apology and make a fucking song and dance about it, the whole thing. Um, he was wrong, though. The instructor told him as well. Instructor told him as well. Um, and I was right, of course. But, um, but, like, in his head... When he screams and all that, he makes this scenario in his head that holy shit, something dangerous happened. But if every to everyone else would just calm, nothing happened because nothing happened. So when you create like reacting to all this stuff, the way you react to the stuff, it actually makes the thing real or not real, depending on what you choose to believe. So think about that. So when it comes to that lady on the airplane, if she just sits there and accepts her fate instead. That she's in an aluminum can going at 100 gazillion miles an hour. Then there's not much to do, is it? To, but to enjoy the ride. And I think that's a good metaphor for life as well. I mean, you can scream. You can, you know, react as much as you want. But in the end, you know, life does what it wants to you. You can just act in the best possible manner. So... That was a pretty poetic end to this video, all right? Stay, you know, stoic, I guess. Stay calm. If shit happens, shit happens. And yeah, take care, safe travels, and God bless. Boom. <laughs>